beloved creator. Mm, great mystery that underlies everything we see, touch, taste, hear, and smell on this beautiful morning. Thank you for this wholeness. Is it possible to have an original thought? Jump right in. There's no wrong answer. No, because there's no beginning and no ending. And if you had an original thought, it would imply a beginning. And I also think that there can be no original thought as there is no separation. I would also say no, but I think the context where the thought falls is like a seed that goes into the ground and out of it creates something, not exactly something new, but something that births into the world of form. You may be wondering what exactly is original thinking? The word thinking actually comes from thanking in many languages. The origin of thinking is thanking. Why is that? Because we felt embraced and loved by Mother Earth. Our thinking then connected us to nature, which is the true source of our consciousness. Unlike today, when our thinking separates us from nature into individual egos. It's only after we developed abstract, rational thought, which gave us greater mastery over nature, that we began to forget about participatory consciousness. We became better specialists, which is the way we are today. But we've lost the ability to see the forest through the trees. Before writing the book, I made a prayer to the ancestors and asked for their blessing in sharing the wisdom that they have. What are the elements of original thinking? Well, the elements of original thinking are the real elements. <laughs> Light, air, water. And I point to the sky when I say water because in New Mexico, the water often, particularly in the summer, is held mostly in the sky. The light, air, water, and earth. It's, it's the earth at our feet. The elements are within us. They're within us in proportion with what the elements are outside of us. We are 70% water, just like the oceans of the earth are 70% water. That is so important. We are also air. We are light. We are the light from the sun affects us in our solar plexus and it's like the light from the central fire the warmth from the central fire that's keeping us alive giving us our vitality giving us our thoughts everything is connected in that way original thinking is thankful it begins in wholeness and gratitude for all there is it comes from origin from particular places it is timeless, both new and old. It is in sync with the rhythms and cycles of nature. It is out of the box thinking, thinking that looks for the pattern that connects. It embraces paradox and change and the flux of nature. It includes your gut instincts, your heartfelt yearnings, your emotions, your intuitions. It is a form of participatory consciousness that allows what wants to happen in nature to happen. It is beautiful. It is radical, as in going to the roots. And it is wise. So in my view, original thinking is a reclamation project. It's a restoring, a remembering of the, of the whole, the fabric of our consciousness is reconnected to its true source, which is nature. It is a unitive consciousness between ancient mind and modern mind, between the rational and the intuitive. It is a wider 
and a wiser form of consciousness.